Yeah, rolling clock. I swear to God, I still don't know what the rolling clock is. Um, Gabriella, can you please tell me what is the rolling clock? What, what should people know about it? <laughs> yes, I always refer back to to the verbiage uh, and the guidelines because that that's what helps me. I totally am with you that I never really know what exactly that means. So a passing grade for any division of the ARE is valid for a, a period of five years after which time uh, the division will expire unless the candidate has completed the ARE. So you take a test and you pass it, that pass is valid for an initial period of five years. Now, of course, life happens, right? Um, so extensions can be granted, uh, such as the birth of a child, the adoption of a child, um, if the ability to test was not possible due to a medical condition, if there was uh, military service involved, any other like causes. And so requests can be submitted directly to NCARB. Uh, there's a form they are supposed to fill out, um, which is found uh, in the ARE guidelines. Uh, it's called the extension request form. Uh, and then you should just submit the form along with proper documentation of that cause that you're saying. So if you, if you're a new parent, you might want to submit the birth certificate of your child, uh, and it must be received by the rolling clock end date. That's the only thing. How did I do? So if you um, you passed Division One on May 1st of 2018, you have to pass these guys here five years from that date. Is that right? Yep. So you have five years before that that pass expires. And then if it expires. So let's say you get some of these done, but not all of them done. Then what happens? And so, you have to take that test unless you have um, the extension granted for, for some cause uh, that has been communicated to NCARB already. Correct, yeah. If you are not able to pass the remaining five exams after you completed your first exam by, oh, math 23 23 5 1 23 then that one division expires so so for it's example kinda, if you got these up through here but you didn't get this one here number six then what happens then the oldest the oldest exam expires so you'd have to retake two exams instead of having one exam got to it. go so yeah each of the exams will have um if i understand correctly when i'm looking at my chart of past exams there will be the date that you took the exam and then the, whether you passed or failed mm -hmm. and then there's a date next to it that's telling you when that exam expires so unless you take all six exams on the same day all six exams will have a different date so on your month by month example if you took one of these exams every month then the division that you passed on May 1st of 2018 will be the first exam to expire, then the second exam, then the third exam, if you're not able to complete all your exams yeah. in five years. With that being said, some states have different additional requirements <laughs> on top of NCARB's position on this rolling clock. I can speak for Illinois um, because I'm in Illinois. Illinois' rolling clock is every three years. And so I don't, uh, I'd need to get it confirmed and I'm happy to do that later on. But I believe Illinois is that you just need to verify that you're still taking your exams um, every three years. I don't think that they'll uh, contact NCARB and say, remove the pass, they must take it again. But yeah. um, you just have to verify that you're still going through the process. And I think I just sort of want to add here, um, we've spoken to so many people who are taking these exams, right? And like, um, we're for some reason we're emphasizing this particular question or, or issue of the rolling clock. Like, this should totally not be an issue. Like, if you're doing this right, this is something you are never going to think of. And I'm proud to say that I still don't really know what the rolling clock is. Hopefully, you won't know what the rolling clock is either. Um, uh, for two reasons. Number one is like, there's a ton of reasons to basically like commit to taking all the exams sorted together. So like taking one every two weeks or one every four weeks or whatever, like one after the other after the other, like 
it's much easier in terms of what's going on in your life and you know the things you learn from one division sort of roll into the next one a little bit and so you go through this whole like examination process that takes six or seven months or whatever um, it, it it's such a better approach um, a lot of people will allow life to get in the way mm -hmm. and certainly I can I'm channeling Mike Newman right now and like you know there is never going to be a better time to take the exam than right now um, so wherever you are I mean so many folks who uh, we've spoken to they kind of let life get in the way and then you know they're 30 or 40 and they're like man I wish I would have gotten licensed it's so much harder now um, so there's so many reasons for this to not be a, a uh, hopefully a concept that you have to worry about